Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is M. Rodriguez 88. Um, I just got home. It's Valentine's Day for like the next few minutes. But I just got home. I took my parents out and my little sister out to the movies. We went to see Avatar in 3D. It was so amazing. I chose it because, of course, I had Michelle Rodriguez. I love Michelle Rodriguez. If nobody knows that, she is one of my favorite actresses in the whole world. Plus, she looks really, really good. Um, I don't want to give too much away about the movie, but I absolutely loved it. And I don't really comment on movies on YouTube, but I think everybody should go and watch it it's got a lot of lot of great messages out there um two of the ones that i really picked up on that i personally loved and i think about quite often is one how everything is energy which i agree with like everything is energy we're energy you know, the plants are energy, the universe is energy, and everything is powered by energy. And, you know, one day we're going to have to give that energy back when we die. But we can use that energy to our advantage, and we can learn from it. And it's, what I'm trying to say is probably going back to the book The Spirit which I've read I've loved I'm still looking for the movie if anybody can tell me where to find the movie that would be great but um dealing with the spirit you know whatever you put out there in the universe is gonna come back at you and you know the universe is gonna give you what you want again it's energy and I now you know I put out there positive energy but if you put out their negative energy, you're going to get something negative back. The other message I caught up on was dealing with, in the movie, the government, our government, is sent to this other world to take, what's it called, some type of chemical that's like supposedly worth a lot of money. And they want to extract it from this planet, but the people who live on this planet, on this specific planet, won't let them do it. And they're trying to protect it. They're trying to protect their home, their lives, everything that's anything to them. And when I look at that, it's kind of like a political statement in a way that we're doing the same thing. We're over in Iraq. And we're over there, what people believe is for, to stop terrorism. And we did, you know, there's going to be terrorism. And that's not really our battle. But, you know, they're sitting there, they're going to go out there and they're going to try and, we're supposedly trying to stop terrorism. We're after their oil, man. Like, come on. It's oil. We have oil in Alaska. We have oil in the Gulf. But we also want to change these people. And they're just sitting there protecting their homelands. Yes, we don't believe the way that they do. But who's to say what they do is right and what we do is wrong? Or what they do is wrong and what we do is right? They could be looking at us and be like, you dumb shit. You know, you guys don't know anything. Our God is right. Your God is wrong. The way you guys live is wrong. You know, everybody lives differently. Everybody is different. That's what makes this world so great. It's the mixture of culture, of understanding. And, you know, that's what I like about this movie is this guy, he becomes an avatar. And he gets in touch with these people. And he learns this whole new culture this whole new way of being and it's just you know it's amazing 
And I think everybody's going to love it. The kids are going to love it. And it's a really touching story. It really is. It's really, it's got some sad parts, some just heartbreaking um, parts. I cried. I I hate to admit it because I'm not a person who cries. I've only cried in like three movies besides this one. I cried in Titanic whenever I was a kid. I mean, come on. Everybody cried because Leonardo DiCaprio died. Hello. I was a loser growing up, if nobody can tell. And in a way, I'm still kind of a loser. I'm a nerd. I'm proud to be who I am, though. And, you know, I cried during Rent. I mean, come on. Who did not cry when Angel died and when Mimi was dying? Or when, um... Joanne and Maureen broke up. That broke my heart. But, you know, um, I also cried, what was that movie? Oh, Rwanda, Hotel Rwanda. I cried during Hotel Rwanda. But, again, that goes back to, you know, dealing with people and culture and just lives. And that was also a very touching story. And I'll hit on that a little later on while I'm making these videos but again um, go watch Avatar it's absolutely amazing everybody's gonna love it <laughs> my sister loved it and it's not really her type of movie and we actually got into some deep discussion on the way home and my mom loved it and my mom's very picky if she hasn't seen it before she's not gonna see it so to even get her to go watch it was pretty amazing. And she came back with a lot of positive about it. And that's really hard to do whenever it comes to my mom. So, um, please go watch the movie. It's fabulous. But it's also late. I have a public speaking um, presentation to do tomorrow. Hoping to try and get some sleep, maybe six hours, if I'm lucky. Um, I love you all. Kisses. I will hit you guys back later. Deuces.